Hi, I'm Sunny, and this is my podcast, Creator Created Creating, short and sweet mindset shifts for intentional life creation. Hello. So I recorded this episode while I was the following episode that you're about to listen to in the car while I was on my way somewhere. So you're going to hear a lot of car noise. And throughout the summer, you're going to hear a lot of fan noise in the background of my podcast episodes. And I apologize for that. But I have a lot of fans running in here. So um, and sometimes I'm driving when I'm having these thoughts. So forgive the background noise. So that is caveat number one. And caveat number two is in the episode that I'm about to share with you, I mentioned that I have manifested this life where I am set and I don't have to do this other certain thing that I'm trying to put a ton of pressure on myself to do. Um, But I'm choosing to because it's my love. But I didn't mention for those of you who are new here, um, because I've seen a lot of new podcast subscribers. I did not mention where that comes from, so I realized I needed to backtrack a minute (laughs) and explain that. So um, if you are new around these parts, I have manifested a multiple six-figure career for myself where I have all the free time that I want and need to do the things that I absolutely love the most. And that includes taking month-long vacations with my love in our RV to creating and sharing all of the things that I love to create and share like this podcast and my courses and my two books and um, all the other creations that I make. So I absolutely love this work. I get to do this work and I bring in all this money. I've retired my husband. I've just retired my husband, which has been a huge dream of mine for many years that came true this year. Um, So I'm I have manifested all of that into my reality by holding that vision and intention for many years and watching those things incrementally come true one after the other. And so my passion now is to share that with you by just sharing myself with you and just sharing how I think, how I see things for me, not because I think you should, not because I think it's right, not because I think it's going to help you even, but just because. I feel passionate to share that because had I not discovered that, I would be living a very different life. So I'm super passionate about it. And I just share myself with you in the hopes that it's inspiration um, and encouragement where you need it, because that has what's been most helpful to me. So I just wanted to preface that for anybody who's new here um, when I'm talking in this following bit about being set. (laughs) Okay, on with the show. So I was having a conversation with myself this morning as I was getting ready about how I've put so much pressure on myself to make a huge success of my creations and my offerings of my career with my creations and offerings just like a huge amount of pressure to make that work and I was talking to myself about this because I am at a place I have set myself up I have manifested a reality for myself in which I don't have to do that I don't I'm I don't have to do that. I'm taken care of. I'm I'm living a very abundant life, a very relaxed, peaceful, free, beautiful life that I have created and envisioned and am living now. And yet I'm putting so much pressure on myself <laughs> to like there's this part of me. So there's this part of me that like just knows that it's just happening in its own organic timing and it's beautiful and I've seen it come so far. 
And there's this other part of me that's like, it needs to be way more, way sooner, way faster. And it's putting all of this pressure on me all the time. And I'm just kind of like watching that voice. And sometimes I'm acting out of that voice and sometimes I'm not, but it's there. And so I was talking to it and, um, I was like, what is this really about? Because you know what? I don't really think this is about like, you don't think this is going to happen. I think, you know, this is going to happen. I think, you know, it really well, actually. So what is this really about? All this stress and overwhelm and pressure that you're creating for yourself. What is this? What's this really coming from? Because I don't think that's what this is about. I think, you know, this is going to happen. And I think you're actually, I think you're actually relaxed about that, to tell you the truth. I think there's just another part of you that's not. And what is that about? So I sat with that for a second. And I was like, I don't know. Okay. Um, And then the words just bubbled up and out, which was just like, with tears. (laughs) Bubbled up and out with tears, like... I don't know. I guess I'm afraid if I stop running, I'm going to (laughs) die. And it was just as simple as that. It's this part of me that's afraid that if she's not running, running, running for survival, she's going to die. She's not going to be okay. It's just a pattern that has lived in me forever because it lives in our, in humanity And although I have completely made my life the opposite of that pattern, that pattern still lives in me and it plays out in me and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and having less and less say, less and less control over me, less and less it's driving my choices, less and less, things like that. But it really was just as simple as that. It's like, actually... I know this is all going to work out beautifully and this is going to happen like in ways that actually blow my mind. I'm actually so sure of that, that I, there's a part of me that just feels completely relaxed about it. But there's this other part that's like, but then what am I going to (laughs) do? Like this other part of me is like, but then what? Like if I quit running, I'll have, I won't have my guard up. And I will get knocked the fuck down and I will lose everything (laughs) and I will, I will be destroyed. I will be ruined. And I wrote a post about the living on the edge of ruin (laughs) this morning. Um, but yeah, so my answer to that is, yeah, that could always happen whether you decide to be overwhelmed and stressed and pressuring yourself and all of this or not like that can happen no matter what we don't have ultimate control over what happens in life and you can set up all the safety and success in the world and something can happen to it because something can happen to our life at any time something can happen to the state of everything something something can always happen no matter how much security you've built up around you like the entire economy could collapse the the entire all the systems like a global event could happen like we just don't know (laughs) so my only path to freedom is keeping meeting that voice because that voice is there for a reason it's not bad it's there to take care of us it's there to make us safe it's there to it's there to help us survive and and thrive even like it actually it's more about survival than thriving it's the um sympathetic brain versus the parasympathetic uh, nervous system and everything so that was just really good to see once again like oh I'm actually I actually know where I'm going I actually know that it's going to work out beautifully and that actually this timing of the way that it's working out is perfect for my nervous system and how I want to feel in my life and 
it's, that's only going to get better. But like, I'm actually not worried about that. I'm actually holding on to this pattern of running and because I'm afraid of what will happen without it. Who am I going to be without that? That's the other, that's the whole other thing, which I've talked about many times. It's like, who, who's that person? Because in my experience, it's like that person is like the person that people don't like. People don't like those people. They resent them. They think they're spoiled and out of touch and don't know what's going on. So like part of me like wants to stay in touch by staying uh, running. And so I honor that part of me. And so I'm like, what can I do for you? Um, well, I can promise you that I'm going to stay connected. I'm going to stay aware. I'm going to stay self-aware. I'm going to stay compassionate and kind, just like I've always been. I'm going to still be myself. <laughs> that isn't going to change me. It's just going to change this pattern of stress and overwhelm. <laughs> stress and overwhelm and like being scared of like what's going to happen to you is not my identity but it's been an identity that I have been very attached to and lived in for a very long time so it feels like it's me but it's not me it's part of me (laughs) but it's not me it's part of me like every single part is part of me And so, once again, I just decide that I'm going to thrive until the day that I die. That's my intention. And I have absolutely no idea what will happen. (laughs) And if I go out at any time, in any different way that my mind envisions me going out, okay. I'll meet it when I meet it. I don't know if it's like, yeah, (laughs) I don't know if it's like my Scorpio vibes or what, but like I am just liberated by just going to the point of death and just being like, it's okay. Just letting that like bring me back to perspective and set me free. Like that does that for me. I know for other people that might be like the opposite and like really scary, (laughs) like, whoa, like, no, I need to reassure myself. So if that's you, like you need to reassure yourself that you're going to be okay. Then that's why I'll, I'll, I always offer all kinds of tools about finding, remembering, and making lists of all the times you thought you weren't going to be okay, that you were okay. I think I just have such a foundation in knowing that I'm okay and going to the dark places and finding where I'm okay, that I have this really strong sense of safety no matter what like I'm going to be safe no matter what even if I perish it's I'm safe like I'm safe (laughs) and it just like I just trust that I really trust that and there's part of me that doesn't and when when that part of me speaks up I I do my best to listen and not run away from it and let it speak and see how I can reassure it in some way what do I need to do to make you feel a little bit better (laughs) and I do I do whatever I can to do that and then I just reset my intention for what I intend to happen what I want to happen and so far that always works out not on my timetable (laughs) but always (laughs) not when I said I wanted it but always so That's all. All right. Much love. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. And if you'd like to find out more about me and my work, you can find me at sunnychapman.com.